Report outlines reasons behind Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out of WWE Raw and an update on the WWE Hell in a Cell card so far. Unless you've been living under a rock, everybody has heard of the controversy surrounding Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out from WWE Raw. Now there is a new report with an update surrounding this story. Here it is. Details are still light regarding exactly what happened that caused Sasha Banks and Naomi to walk out of WWE Raw Monday. But one Tuesday report has a version of what led to the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions leaving the venue. According to PW Insider, the plan for Raw was that Banks and Naomi would go head-to-head -head in the planned six-pack challenge, with Naomi getting to challenge Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair at Hell in a Cell. The report then went on to say there is a belief that Friday SmackDown would kick off an angle to set up Sasha Banks, versus SmackDown Women's Champion Ronda Rousey at Hell in a Cell, with both Banks and Naomi losing at the event. A pitched alternative idea including Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. that would have set up a different program was not gone with, leading to Sasha Banks and Naomi eventually informing John Laronidas that they were leaving and handing over the titles. On the post-Raw Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said the two went to Vince McMahon about the creative plan and Vince didn't back down and didn't agree to what they were asking. The report also indicated that McMahon learned of their departure reportedly right as Raw was going live with the eventual Becky Lynch, Adam Pearce segment pitched and approved on the spot that led to Becky Lynch versus Asuka instead. On the post-Raw edition of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said the situation may also be related to a contract situation with Banks and Naomi. During the show, WWE released a statement to the media that said the two, quote, claimed they weren't respected enough as tag team champions and that they claimed they were uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents even though they'd had matches with those individuals in the past with no consequence. Wade Keller of PW Torch refuted that statement saying, quote, I can just say that I asked around and there wasn't a pre-existing issue with Naomi and Sasha and anyone in that match. He also said there wasn't much sympathy backstage toward either woman nor a sense of them taking a stand for something people agreed with. As of now, both women are still active on the roster. Sasha Banks and Naomi are the current WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. This is a developing story, so expect a lot more coming from this. As of right now, we still have not heard from Sasha Banks or Naomi, and as always, there is more than one side to a story. But now, this does lead to a new Raw Women's Championship match set for Hell in a Cell. A Raw Women's Championship match has been announced for WWE Hell in a Cell. Asuka defeated Becky Lynch in a number one contenders match on this week's WWE Raw episode to earn a title shot at Bianca Belair. Belair at the June 5th Hell in a Cell event. Bianca Belair was on commentary during the bout and Lynch repeatedly tried to bait her into interfering in the match. As Belair jumped on the apron, Lynch tried to use Asuka's parasol as a weapon, but Asuka spat green mist on Lynch and rolled her up for the pin to become number one contender. Two matches are official for Hell in a Cell. The lineup includes Hell in a Cell match between Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins, and the Raw Women's Championship match between Bianca Belair and Asuka. Well, let us know your thoughts on this story in the comments section below. I will keep you guys posted here on the latest, but in the meantime, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.